Hey guys, the HTML DOM allows JavaScript to actually change not only HTML but CSS as well and that's what we are going to do in this video. Now let's start off with uh, creating a p tag with some random text inside. So let's have a p, make sure we close it and inside it let's say this is some random text. That'll do. And because we are going to be using uh, get element by ID uh, for this example or for most examples we just give it an ID of p1. Okay and inside here uh, what should we do? Should we create a function? Yeah, why not? Let's create a function. I don't know why I deleted my code from my previous video because technically there's not much difference. Uh, function, my function, I need to write my button again. Uh, and that code goes in here. And let's just create a button. Uh, style, no, type equals button, not bitten, button. Uh, on click equals my function so that I know the reason why I am making a function every time is so that whenever I want to change this for another example I don't have to keep on changing uh, the on click thing let's say click me button uh, inside my function now let's do uh, the syntax for changing the style is document dot get element by id and id name here and dot style dot uh, property equals new style or new property okay so it's really simple uh, in this case the p id is p1 and what we want to do is let's change the color of this p tag when we click a button so uh, if you remember my css video we did inline uh, css where we have the style and we have the color property and let's change this to red now if we refresh we have some random text and we have a button. If we click this, the text is going to change from uh, the default, which is black, to red. So that's how you use uh, JavaScript to change uh, styles in your document. Now, if we use uh, this, we can actually do some funny stuff. We could even make this uh, text disappear and come back again. Let's do that because we still have six, seven minutes. All right, so we have some random text. We have a par uh, an ID and we have a button. Let's say on click, we are going to call a button visible. And let's change this function name to visible because we need two functions and two buttons. Uh, let's do a line break and button type equals button on click we are going to call a function called invisible which we will create now click me and button actually click me to show click me to uh, hide that is cool and make sure to close it perfectly okay function visible so we have a document dot get element by id and it gets this element and let's change this okay so we'll keep the style and uh, we have a property called visibility which uh, changes either the content is visible or not so let's say style dot visibility okay equals and um, it's either uh, hidden or visible okay so because this is a function called visible we will change this to visible like so uh, anything yep that's fine and there we go let's oops create another function here called invisible no arguments inside our curly brackets we end it so that 
uh, indent it so that it's easier to see. Let's say document.getElement. I really should have just copy pasted it because it's 90% of the text or code is the same. Style.visibility equals uh, equals, that's right, and it's hidden. Okay, if you want to check out all the properties and the values for uh, eight styles and stuff, just Google uh, HTML DOM styles or CSS uh, styles or style property or something like that. Google is your friend, it's going to tell you everything. Uh, so we have two functions functions visible, function invisible, and it's going to change the visibility property of our p tag with the ID of p1 to visible or hidden. And that function is going to uh, load when we click the either button. So let's save our work and refresh. There we go. We have some random text and we have either click to show or click to hide. Let's try hiding it. Look, it's hidden. And if we sh click to show, it shows and it hides. It's pretty neat, huh? We could actually use this to create, I don't know, some uh, who wants to be some who wants to be a millionaire JavaScript program to I don't know like click to show your answer or something like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.